currently 5 a.m. and I am on my way to Anime Expo Chibi. I had to get up this early because it's going to be quite a drive and the registration booth opens like 8 o'clock. So I got like three hours to get there before the line gets too long. But knowing Anime Expo, it's probably going to get too long. Let's go. Apparently there's no... So that's where I am currently. It's a good thing I came early. I found it. This was my first ever official anime expo that I've been to. I tried to uh, get the one in 2020, but unfortunately, you know what happened that year. So yeah, I was kind of excited and ready to party. Every vlog needs an obligatory walking shot. I don't know why we do this. On the bright side, I'm getting my early morning workout. The downside to getting there early is that I had to wait a couple hours before the registration booth decided to open. All tagged. Even though this was a smaller event, the line got incredibly long. And I had to wait there for another hour. Thankfully, the sun shone that day, so we weren't all completely freezing. The kind of badge we got this time was a uh, wristband. As I said, this is my first time attending Anime Expo, so I didn't know what to expect. Go, keep moving forward. Got you right When the con finally opened, my first mission was to grab my commemorative uh, Nendroid faceplate that you get for attending. Oh my god, is this the line? Good smell is here and face plate if you do a survey. So I'm in line for that now. The line kept moving, so it didn't take me too long to get my face. And I also met this guy. Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> like I said, we're lucky we got in the front. Look at that. Luckily the booth had display cases, so it kept us busy. I would pre order it, but I didn't think about it. I got the regular figures, bro. The line kept getting longer behind us as we were treated to more display cases. As we were passing by the ridiculously priced bunny suit Ryoku, I found something that I've wanted for a while. You'll be added to the collection, Melia. I promise. Thank you. It's already crazy. <laughs> I also checked out the Good Smile shop to buy myself something. Oh my god, look at this fucking huge ass bag Good Smile gave me just for one Nendroid. Is that a fucking Mio Takemakura? I came across these beautiful art plates that this merchandiser was selling. I would have got one myself if they didn't cost a pretty penny. <laughs> there was a couple Itasha cars at the show too. Oh ho! God damn, son! <laughs> My finger was in most of that shot. They're doing a live rap. Oh my fucking god. That's something I didn't expect to see. It's pretty easy to be overwhelmed in here. A lot of people. I've seen a couple vendors that I've known about outside of Anime Expo. It's happy to see them here because that means I can buy their merch without having to pay shipping or taxes. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. This guy makes sick looking art. I ended up caving and buying these two. Oh look at that, I found him. I've been following Loki Geeks on Instagram for a while now and I've, I've never seen them in person but they're here and I am gonna get some shit. <laughs> After visiting Low Key Geeks, I decided to head over to the Artist Alley. While on the way there, I met Aaron and Annie. Certainly more packed than Ronin Expo. 
and a lot more stuff here too. This is the artist alley. And yeah. I really didn't have much footage for this part. I just went around. A lot of people were there and I bought myself this jet tag. I also met this kind gentleman. Afterwards, I followed Gary for a bit and headed over to the cosplay sets. As I walk these streets, I suddenly come to realization everyone is trash. Of course, like the weeb trash I am, one of my missions was to bring home anime figures. A showcase of my loot will be at the end of this video. While looking around, I met this lovely lady cosplaying Luigi. And the chief himself decided to pop in. My phone was running low, so I decided to take a rest. It was kind of surreal just watching all these people walking by, different walks of life coming to just one convention, and it was the smaller version too. The phone wasn't done charging, so I decided to crack open my Y Schwarz packs. Day one of me being an Anime Expo Chibi is done. Tomorrow is gonna to be more focused on trying all the food trucks that is gonna be there. And hopefully I won't be broke by the time I get home. I spent the night at my friend's house before heading out the next day. Oh no. <laughs> this sandwich is cold. Good morning. Day two. And of course, the line was forming, but uh, not a lot of people this time. Pope Thanos decided to make an appearance today. Trucks aren't open yet, so I'm gonna kill some time in the main hall. Mm, look at that, the wrap's all finished. The food trucks were finally open, and I opted to go with this one first. I opted for the Vietnamese Wagyu steak fries. And I gotta say, they were delicious. I decided to let my food digest a bit, so I took a walk around the artist alley again. I decided to head upstairs to try and get into the maid cafe, but they were fully booked. Looks like I'm gonna have to try this some other time. Utterly defeated, I headed back to the food trucks to try shake ramen. This was an interesting take on ramen. But it tasted pretty good, so I can't complain. You should go for it, man. Thank you. Have a great day. You too, thanks. I headed back to Artist Alley for one final run of any art merch I wanted to buy. On the way there, I ran into KFP. Alright, I think I've exhausted everything I can do here. It's time to head home. <laughs> Alright, looks like it's time for me to brag. First up, we've got the uh, Bicute Bunnies uh, Super Sonico figure I found over there. I was lucky to find that one. That's actually a figure I've been uh, searching for. Next, uh, at the Good Smile booth, I bought the 2022 Snow Miku Grand Voyage version. And it comes with a very nice looking box. Can't wait to get that open. Down here, we got Ram from ReZero. Um, retail or eBay price is going up to like 80 on this thing. So I'm glad I found that for 65 Got some Weishwars cards. I've already opened the Data Live ones on camera. 
uh, found this. <laughs> Can't beat that. I'm trying to recollect all the games that I had as a kid. Uh, I got this jet tag. When you go to Anime Expo Chibi, you, uh, you get the chance of getting the uh, exclusive Good Smile Fest uh, face plates for doing a survey while you're there. And I managed to get three. Don't ask me how. These three, um, these three came from the same shop. This was Offset Club, I think. Uh, I forgot where I bought this from, but it's supposed to be a, a good luck charm tag themed to Yoko from Gurren Lagann. That was a freebie that I bought with this. These guys I actually, um, this guy I actually bought from in Ronin Expo, and uh, I'm glad to see him again. This was from uh, Fua Fua and uh, Triple I. They had that stall there, and I had to get one for, my, for myself. These three were from Gimyu. That line was really long the first time I went there. We got the three low-key geeks uh, blue archive uh, decals over there. Over here, I picked up a uh, Ghidorah sticker. Forgot what store that was from. I picked up this pretty strong wooden sword. This is by far my favorite purchase from, uh, from Anime Expo Chibi. <laughs> You can thank these guys. And another article of clothing. That was from Loki Geeks. It's a little tight. They said this was a 2X. Doesn't feel like a 2X. But I guess I just gotta break it in. Let's see whose dogs have been abandoned in this little game. Oh, look at that. Pochana, Asha, and Yoshi. Huh. Huh, nothing much in terms of accessories. Let's see what toys they got. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 